Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. We have a cute little slick back bun moment going on here. Love that for me. Very, very proud of my little bun. And I think this is gonna be the new hairstyle for the next like two months because Y'all know how I get, like once I find something that's easy and that I like, I stick to it for a hot ass minute. I just stopped by the Chinese store, the Chinese shop, and I bought some Chinese food because a girl is starving. And I feel like that's the healthiest, one of the healthiest things on their menu, except the rice, of course, obviously, except the rice. But on the shrimp and broccoli and everything is really everything. So I'm about to eat that right now. My friend was having a barbecue, but um, there was too much going on. And I didn't feel like going. So I came home and I bought some Chinese food and I'm gonna sit and enjoy that. Today was a very eventful day at work. Mm, not so much, very smooth day. Tomorrow is gonna be such a long day because I'm gonna be up from 5 a.m. and I'm not gonna get home until this same time, which is nine, maybe not nine, like 8.30ish. But um, I'm gonna be very, very tired. However, I'm off the following day, so that kind of, makes up for the fact that i'm gonna like work an entire day like i'm gonna be so tired i'm gonna be fine because i'm off the next day i might go and chill with my friend tomorrow evening when i do come from work because i did tell him that i would come over um the night before my day off so i could like stay late and chill and chat and drink and whatever so um i have to see what's going on for that my friend promised me some food today and i'm waiting I am waiting for the food. Anyways, I'm gonna eat the Chinese food before it gets cold and I'll see you guys later or tomorrow or at some point. So here's a little something that I noticed about myself a couple of years now, right? If you're my friend and you need me to go somewhere with you, I'm gonna need notice like a lot of days in advance so I could like plan for it. And if we've like done things two days in a row or so, I don't know about anything more than two days in a row. If we've done things two days in a row, I'm gonna need at least four business days to recharge before I'm even able to do anything again because my social battery is drained. I need time to replenish and to like think about my actions. And so you can't really book me for too many things, too many days in a row. All right, that's all. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have the craziest hair right now. Literally just hopped out of the shower because um, guess what happened to me? Last night I got into this argument with somebody and um, I was just like, yeah, whatever. Like, <laughs> I'm over it, I'm over the argument. I don't wanna argue, I'm not confrontational. And <clears throat> they pulled up and said, listen, bro, I'm downstairs. First of all, what in the ambush is going on? Secondly, I'm on the phone trying to talk to my sister. Third, I have a shitload of things on my to-do list and my reminders have already started going off to go do these things. And did I even mention that today was that day off where I actively planned in my head that I'm gonna just use to stay in bed because of this stupid argument that I was in last night and I just decided, all right, it's a wrap for today. Like, today I'm going to be staying in bed and doing the bare minimum and whatever. But now that you're downstairs, we're going to go to the nail salon. We'll talk about it over getting our nails done. How about that? Because my nails need to be refilled. My nails need to be refilled, right? And what I don't want is to have a different uh, pink on there. So I have this pink by um, Valentino that I was planning to just take with me to the nail salon and just tell them, yeah, like, just use my acrylic powder because I want it to match but then I'm just like is that excessive like should I just allow them to um cut my nails down a little bit and polish them because honestly <clears throat> the way how I had her do the French like it's gonna grow out sooner than later it's not even showing like they're gonna grow out sooner than later you know what I mean so I was just wondering Maybe I should just cut it down a little bit and have them polish it. But my camera just, damn, chill. 
I'm saying these nail salon people be playing me. I need to find my hat that says crazy hair because I literally have crazy hair today. Like I cannot pull up to the nail salon like this. I'm gonna look crazy. I already look crazy, so we're not doing that. I love how this little pink dress looks on me. I've I'm I like pink and everything, but like I don't OD. But I love how this looks on me right now. So I don't know, like I'm I don't know. First of all. I feel like let's go to Dunkin' and get some coffee and then talk about the issue at hand. <laughs> then go to the nail salon and continue talking about the issue at hand. And the grocery store still happens to be out there too. So let's grocery shop and talk about the issue at hand. Since you want to pop up downstairs and tell me to come downstairs. Like, damn, the ambush. <laughs> so, um, just hopped out of the shower and I'm going to like find something to slip into really, really quickly. I have some laundry to do too. Are we really going to talk about that? No. Why? Are we gonna talk about that? I'm really so tempted to drop it off, but the last time that I washed them, I tried out this new combination of like my fabric softener and my soap and like my um downy unstoppable beads. And oh my gosh, I could live in my laundry the way how it smells good. So I'm like, yeah, they're not gonna get the combination right unless I was to pour the laundry detergent on the clothes and everything myself. And like, I'm not gonna do that if I'm gonna drop it off. So I feel like I'm gonna end up going and getting it done also felt like I was gonna work out today and then my Google photos showed me a comparison of like then and now of like last year and now I can't even show y'all cuz I'm I'm barely dressed but I look good I, well I could probably show one I look like I lost a little weight which okay but I also realized that I looked a lot hotter when I had a little bit more weight on you know when I was in the 160s right now I'm one like 52 or 150 you know what I mean but when I was in the 160s, the 164s, the 165s, I looked good. But we're not going back there. All right. I'm skin tea right now when we're staying here. <laughs> the way how I love food, I wouldn't even be surprised if I got there again. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to jump into some clothes, find my crazy hair hat, and we're going to go outside and see what happens. Happy Sunday, y'all. It's a Sunday morning, ready for work successfully managed to complete everything that I had on my to-do list in the last clip that y'all watched I the following day went to the laundromat and then went to the nail salon stopped by the grocery store and on my way home I bought like some chicken or whatever because we were starving okay so did that and everything is successfully done this heat is absolutely no joke and I feel like this is something that we already know but gosh it's hot this morning I woke up sweating bullets it's not cute right now I'm ready I just need to like grab this bag that I have for Jalissa with some hair that I'm gonna take with me I message her asking her if I should bring it today and she did not answer me yet so I'm not even sure if I should bring it today but I think I'm gonna bring it today anyways because I think her vacation ends today because I don't want to be walking around with the bag for more than a day. So I'm going to take it with me today and hopefully she is at work where I can give it to her because I would not be happy if I had to come back home with the bag. I already don't want to take it. It's extra load, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm about to go to work. See you guys later. Y'all, I just got home from work, right? Stopped at the Chinese shop because I don't know what these Chinese people be doing. But since the other day, I have not been able to leave the Chinese restaurant alone. I've been there at least twice every week so far for the last like three weeks buying something to eat just because I felt like I could have it you know and I have these sporadic moments where like my appetite opens up and I'm eating a little bit more than I naturally would and this is one of those moments and we need to get it together so today is the last day I'm buying the darn Chinese food anyways I ate some and I left some for a little bit later I really don't care that it's Sunday it's not that serious to me you eat what you eat. Growing up in Jamaica for every single Sunday, my mother would make sure that she cooked rice and peas and stuff. And I feel like because of that now, I don't really like peas as much. I feel like I had enough to last me for a lifetime and I, I sound crazy now. And I also um, don't like soup because she used to run a cook shop where she used to cook soup every day and twice on Saturdays, being dramatic, but whatever. So I'm about the Chinese food and I ate it and since I haven't slept this entire week because my week has just been go, 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 I'm going to sleep right now for an hour and like and a half, right? I'm going to sleep for an hour and a half. When I wake up, I should feel good. I'm going to pop this air conditioner back on and fall asleep in the cool because it is hot as a 
whatever outside all right so we're gonna do that and uh, this is where i'm gonna wrap up this vlog thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one